The following video is about a large number of men in US who are going their own way as in MGTOW but don't actually know it. Dr. Dwayne L. Buckingham is a highly acclaimed international clinical psychotherapist, relationship expert and life skills consultant. He's the founder of REAL Horizons Consulting Service, LLC, which provides high quality cognitive behavioral seminars, leadership training and life skills consulting. This video is a must see for men and women who want to know why good and successful men remain single and go MGTOW. Qualified Yet Single is a straightforward, sincere and informative film that highlights some of the personal, interpersonal and emotional challenges that influence why some good men decide to remain single and become MGTOW. Through heartbreak trauma, peer pressure and negative societal influences, a diverse group of 15 men from Atlanta, DC, Maryland and St. Louis share heartfelt and thought-provoking stories about their decisions to remain single. Out of hundred of my friends, 85 is single. 85 is single. Some of the most qualified men in America are living bachelor lifestyles. They're competent, reliable, enjoyable, considerate, and spiritual, but single. How many African-American men do you know that um, are so much successful that um, I'm a single male, I don't have any kids? Not to say that if I did have children, I wouldn't be a rare commodity. I just don't at this time. Because I wanted someone to be just like my mother. Because to me, my mother's perfect. Like, I don't see a flaw in my mother. You know, I'm, I'm so focused on uh, character building and, and my, for my future with school. I think that women may look at a man for a particular um, dream they may have had. You know, or well, he makes six figures, or you know, this one is six four. I thought it was important to do this film because I wanted to give men a platform to share their stories about singlehood and also help women understand, you know, that they need to look deeper and look beyond a man's surface when they're trying to have them commit and engage into a relationship. Once we start to, you know, build momentum, you become kind of timid. You know, you're like, wait a minute. Because sometimes it's too good to be true. And then you find yourself going into an area that you really didn't think you'd go into. I don't let a lot of people get in my space because what I don't want is when I give you my space that I someone's going to, you know, be hurt from me. And so I'm always, I always got the defense mechanism. I'm always on defense. The hurt that comes behind it, it makes you feel uh, inferior, you know, to a woman, to a, to a certain extent. And it's, it's almost to the point of where you don't feel like yourself any longer, like you lose yourself somehow. Like, you know, the strength of what you were before is just no, no longer there anymore. It's a, you break down. Men living alone have increased over the past four decades from 5.6% to 11.8%, despite the fact that men are more qualified today to be married than ever before in history. Make sure to check out the film or read the book by Dr. Dwayne L. Buckingham, titled Qualified Yet Single, for more perspective on single men in America going MGTOW. Thanks for watching. As always, like this video and subscribe.